Right guys, this is going to be my care video for the Bracket Palmer Smithy, also known as the Mexican Red Meat Tarantula. I'm going to show you what you need to do to set up the housing for it and how to look after it. Right, the piece of meat I'm going to be showing you today is actually a small juvenile, so I'll be keeping it in a small fun area. If it's a sling, you're better off keeping it in a deli pot or a tub. If it's an adult, you may need to keep it in a large fun area or an exoterritory. Height-wise, you don't want much at all. These guys will climb and they will fall and hurt themselves, so too much height is dangerous to them. Right, well next you want to add your substrate. Remember these guys come from Mexico, so whichever substrate you use, it's got to be dry. Spider life when you first buy it holds a lot of moisture in it, so I tend not to use that. Your best bet is to go for something like cocoa fiber, which you can buy in brick form, which will make it liters at a time. Or if you like, you can buy it pre-loose. It's just a bit more expensive. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll add the substrate. Next, you want to put a hide in there. In this case, I've used a small plant pot, which I've cut out both ends to make a small tunnel. That I'm going to use. I'm going to push into one corner and then push it into the hill itself. And then just brush out what's left around the enclosure. That way it has a small retreat to go in, as well as to climb on top of, but not too high that it will fall and hurt itself. Next, you're going to need a water bowl. In this case, it's a small resin one, which I got from ProRep. That one will go right in the corner. Try to keep it so that the top of the water bowl is level with the substrate. They will probably flip loads of substrate in there and you will be forever cleaning it out, but it's better that way so they don't burrow underneath it. Right, next thing you want to add is any kind of decoration just to make it look pretty in your eyes. What I've opted for in this case, just a small plastic plant. Remember, if you're going to use any natural product, you need to boil it and then freeze it for 48 hours minimum to kill any bacteria. Also, I should say at this point in the video, that you need to add some small pebbles to your water bowl to make sure your spider doesn't drown. Anyway, it's time to add your spider. So here's my little Mexican red knee. Very beautiful young male. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the enclosure that he's in into his new home. And then with a soft bristled paintbrush, I'm going to gently coax him in but just brushing very lightly his rear legs. And eventually, he'll come walking out. And there we go. Pop the lid on, and jobs are good. So as far as care actually goes, these guys do well at room temperature, providing it doesn't drop below 18 degrees. You can add a heat mat if you like, as long as it's placed above the surface, as they will burrow to escape the heat. The water you use should be fresh water, alright? Don't use bug gel, no matter what your local shop tells you. Bug gel is for your live food, not for your tarantula. Tarantulas should be fed appropriately sized food, roughly about once a week. Depending on heating and feeding schedule, these guys will molt roughly around once a month as a sling, but as they get older that time period will extend. This species is what I would describe handleable as they fall into the new world category, which basically means they have earth getting hairs on their abdomen uh, and less potent venom. You can handle them if you choose to, although it's not advised for everybody. If you are going to handle them, the best bet is to put your hand near the spider Again, only with new world species, and then gently coax them onto your hand with a soft bristle paintbrush. Right, you just finished watching that video and I really hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of time into making it and it would be great if you show your support by hitting the like and subscribe button at the bottom of your screen right now.